Okay, so hey guys, what's going on? Retro Gamer here, and today what I thought I could do is show you how to set up your 2.4G wireless controller gamepad. So I did this a couple years ago, and um, I still get questions and comments all the time asking, you know, how to set the thing up and why isn't it working, and a lot of different other questions that I personally just can't answer because I don't have that older unit with me anymore. But one of the things that I thought of was, well, the one I had, as I said, was a, a much older model. So I thought maybe the problem is I had an older unit and people were trying to set up this newer one. So I thought, why not just buy this new unit and we'll show you how to set it all up and go from there. Hopefully it'll solve at least a couple different issues. You'll have to excuse the area I'm doing. I, I know I choose to do it on my desk, but that's, that's just kind of what I'm working with. So uh, a couple different things are going to come in the box. So it's going to come with two controllers. These wireless controllers take uh, two AAA batteries just in the back. And then it's going to come with the actual game unit itself. It's going to come with the little adapter for the controllers to use the wireless controllers. Uh, and then it's going to come with the power cord. And it's going to come with this little uh, HDMI dongle. Because it'll be a lot harder to plug into a TV without a dongle. Some TVs will be fine, but a lot of them won't. So where are we going to start with? So what we're going to do here is we're going to show you just how to plug everything in. So this is the unit itself and you pull off this little uh, cover here for the HDMI. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna plug in the power cord. So with this unit, it has the SD card for the games and the software, and then it has two ports for the controller and for the power. So we'll plug the power in just like that. And then we'll take this little piece that controls the controllers and we're going to put it into here. Now it's going to act like it's not going to want to go in when you try and push it in, but you're just going to have to push it like that. It, it's a little hard, but you just really just got to push the thing in. Okay. And then also you're going to need something like this and, and a USB wall power adapter. This doesn't come in the box. Everything you see here comes in the box except for this right here, but you're going to need something like that in order to power on the system and then you'll be good to go. Now I have a cord down here with me. Uh, bear with me for a minute. I have a cord right here and then we'll be able to power on the system. And you can also see that it, it will be turned on by this little light. See how it's blue? That means the system is currently on right now. And other than that, you'll just need to turn on the controllers like that, be in on mode you'll take the unit and plug it into this little adapter that they give you. If I can plug it in right, there we go. And then we'll turn the TV on. And in theory, if everything goes right, this unit should be powered on. Just like that. So, zoom in a little so I can show you that yes, it is indeed on and working. As you see here, it says the game stick light 4K. So, I mean, it's a little different from what the box says, but you get the idea. This is the 2.4 G um, unit. And as you can see, it's all working. It has, you know, a ton of games on it. Um, I'm going to put up my review later on of the system, but I wanted to show you how to get it all set up. And it indeed does work. Um, really straightforward. Um, you know, there's, there's not much to it. I mean... Sometimes what I encountered with the last unit I got, right, is um, if you turned it on, uh, it would just go black. So that's when you have to take the power out and kind of mess around with it. Like what, what I did with my old one when it wouldn't turn on, I like would take the power out and then put it back in and then usually it would work. Um, other comments I've had are the controller is not working. Just make sure that you have those two uh, AAAs in there and, and, turn it, and turn the controller actually on. And also plug in uh, the little adapter for the controllers. Um, I've heard people ask how to insert the coins in the arcade games. Usually you're just going to press uh, select. Usually that'll uh, add the coins or start either one of the two. Um, you press this button in the middle to go back to the main menu. And that's really all I can think about. I mean, you know, it, it's not... It's not too difficult to set up, but I have had my, my own issues. So 
I hope this helps a few of you out. And I'll put up the review later on of it. Really interesting unit, and I want to give you guys my thoughts on it. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this helps out at least a few of you. And I'll see you guys back here with another review. See you guys then.